Hello and welcome back to the Pokemon Adventures Red Chapter playthrough. This is part 24 and we are here at the Silphco Company building once again. It seems like we are never going to leave this place, honestly. And in between episodes, I did go ahead, put a couple of levels into Wildcard as it was falling behind just a little bit. Got up to level 38, slapped the wreck handy on it, so now it's back on par with the rest of the team. However, I do think having Venusaur in front is probably a good idea as we've ran into a lot of tentacles lately in the past episodes with Green's team and Blue's team, and their team sucked against Tentacruel. But our team doesn't suck against Tentacruel because we have Venusaur with Earthquake that can do pretty well against it. We have a Pikachu. We have a decent team against it. So let's go ahead, get ourselves into the Silk Co building once again. While it has felt like we have spent a lot of time in this building, on the bright side, in the past two episodes, we have picked up two badges, and that means that we have actually got a fair share of badges, and we might even get Sabrina's badge this episode too, and then we have seven out of eight badges. We'd actually be pretty far in at that point. So while it doesn't feel like I'm making progress location-wise, we're making progress badge-wise, which honestly, I'm okay with. I'm absolutely okay with that. So we did a couple of these, we did a couple of these little um, wall panels. However, we got two... I can't remember what we got to. I know there was a dead end one way that needed like a card key, so I'm assuming we're gonna try and get to that. I am gonna try and avoid as many Team Rocket members as I possibly can for the sake of time. Um, speaking of time, oh, I'm, I'm clearly on the warp pad. I am clearly on the warp pad, Grunt. Don't you give me this. I am on the pad, I'm gone, okay? I've teleported. You can't see me anymore, I've teleported, okay? But while we're on the topic of time, there will be a double upload today as Sunday and Monday, I realized something, and that is that uh, my area is very, very loud. By construction, you might be thinking, what kind of noise is possibly being made? Birds. Birds. Birds are noisy. Uh, there has recently been a whole bunch of birds. One particular bird is really noisy around my house, right? And it sounds like a car alarm going off, just constantly. It's so loud that my mic actually picks up the bird alone to a point where it actually starts distorting my audio in videos because it's just picking up a bird in the background and making my mic sensitivity really, really high and peaking my mic. And then the game volume's really, really low. So I need to record at night, um, which is the plan. It's the plan at the moment to record at night, but that does mean this video is being delayed because I have to record it <laughs> on Monday night, which is a little bit annoying. And uh, Kaiser Emerald will still be up tomorrow as normal, provided everything goes okay. Um, Pikachu nearly just went down to Rico, which is a little bit scary. Thankfully, Voltacle is still strong enough. Um, I have definitely considered getting rid of this Pikachu. I fought it through, right? I fought through all the electric types that we could have right now. Honestly, if I find a Thunderstone, I'm doing it, okay? I'm evolving it. If I don't find a Thunderstone, I'm gonna leave it as a Pikachu. I'm not going to go out of my way to purposefully go and buy a Thunderstone, but if we just happen upon one, I'm going to call it Fate and we're going to evolve it. That's my plan at the moment. Definitely not the craziest plan to be the burn. That's a shame. I have Arcture, actually. Never mind. I got played. I just got played. What a smart Sucker Punch. And a Sucker Punch crit, nonetheless. Dang. Bring out something like a Tauros so I can Drain Punch it, please. Bring out a Chansey. Give me just a big ball of health. Venomoth, not quite what I was thinking, but honestly, we can probably one-shot it with a flamethrower. I'm confident in our Ninetales. We have the sun up. Yeah, we'll probably one-shot. I do want to get my health back, though. And I don't want to have to run all the way back to base. I really don't. We've we've entered it and exited this building so many times, I just want to get self co building over and done with. That would be best-case scenario. Whether that means we have to fight Sabrina or not, I don't know. I don't know. Because we have beaten Surge, we have beaten Koga, technically, we did battle Sabrina as Blue, however, I don't think that quite counted as us winning. I don't know if we're going to have to fight Sabrina or not. Uh, I feel like it'd be kind of weird for us to fight, because Blue did actually pick up a, uh, a Marsh Badge. Are you going to give me the card? Nope. Yes, I am a traitor, but so what? We all have to do what we have to do to survive in this cruel, unforgiving world. He's not wrong. However, what I need to do to survive is grab this key card. And if you have that in your pocket, then I have to grab that, okay? I will splash that potion all over his face, and I will take my well-deserved 
key card and go grab my well-deserved badge, because I did beat Sabrina. Sure, she only used to Kadabra, right? But it was a victory nonetheless, even if it was just in spirit, because it wasn't actually me and my team, I don't care, okay? We did it in spirit. Um, Arcanine. Uh... I guess we'll go into Polyrath. I don't love going into Polyrath here on half HP, but sure. Sure. Uh, Intimidate kind of sucks, but I'm going for Scald anyway, so it's fine. I really just want to Drain Punch and get HP back. But also, Aqua Jet's probably going to be enough to KO if Scald doesn't. Yeah, Arc Jet should be enough to KO from there. As much as I want to Drain Punch to get health back, I'd rather just take out the Arcanine before I find out that it might have Wild Charge. You know, let's just remove, remove any worry and just get rid of it before any Wild Charges start happening. That's fine. And Pidgeot. Um, honestly, Fake Out, Thunderbolt might be enough. I hope it's enough, because we're not using Bolt Tackle at this HP. That's not something we're going to do. However, I will happily take my Speed Boost. Zoom, zoom, around we go. We're picking up speed. We're charging ourselves on the carpets here. Okay, getting all that static electricity nice and inside of ourselves and just blasting this Pidgeot down. Please, KO. Okay, that's fine. All right, I have a lot of doubts about this Pikachu now. I haven't had doubts until this point, but now I'm starting to wonder if Pikachu's really gonna be strong enough. It's not, it's not terrible. It's not a Raichu. Do you really not give me the keycard? I'm done, I'm going to jail after all this. I can't, I don't wanna to go to jail. I'll get passed around like a toy. Uh. <laughs> uh. Uh. Oh dear. Anyway. Oh, hi. You can see me from very far away. That's really annoying. Stop right there, kid. Right after I said... Right, I got past that one grunt. Because I said, we're going to try and avoid as many grunts as possible. They haven't avoided a single one since. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Um... I can Sludge Bomb, right? I actually forgot if Fairy was gonna be- I couldn't remember if we tested Poison against Fairy. I think that's the first time I've actually seen it. Because I know Ice is super effective against Fairy. I wasn't sure if Poison was gonna be. Tentacruel? Oh, you fool. You thought you had the strongest Pokemon, huh? It's time. It's time to show you that my team can deal with a Tentacruel, okay? Earthquake. Damage. See? That's good damage. Go for your stupid barrier. Look at this. Look. And then the next Earthquake is going to take it out. I could Petal Storm if I wanted to. But honestly, I want to use Earthquake just to show that we have something for Tentacruel, as all people should. It should be a requirement if you give me your team to use at any point in this game, but you should have something for a Tentacruel. There we go. Okay. Uh, right. Keycard? Keycard? More complicated words than that. It's not a key card. Black glasses. Okay. Do we have any Pokemon that can make use of those? I don't think we do. Do we have Dark Pulse on you? We do have Dark Pulse. I could give the Bright Powder to Aerodactyl, I guess? Uh, it's not... It's not really much better, but I suppose that is the better way around, even if it is only by a very, very small smidgen of amount. Sure. Black glasses and bright powder. We'll put them that way around. This way, everyone has an item. Watch me now go and get hit by knockoff on all of my Pokemon, just to prove that that wasn't a good idea. Um, well, this is an empty room. Okay. I remember fighting you back in Mount Moon. Is this Jesse and James? He says, Jamie. Jess, I think it is. You're the kid that Jamie and I lost to back in Mount Moon. Who would have thought that a little kid was such a huge obstacle for our organization? I see we have the key. Here you go. Oh, thanks. You're not even gonna fight? You're just gonna give it to me? What are you planning? They're planning to, to get me as I'm going back down the stairs, push me from behind. No. <laughs> Does it matter whether it's a trap or not? You can't leave this place without the key anyway. Okay, okay, your logic is annoying, but I'm double checking just to make sure there's no extra key in here. Okay, alright, you know, I, I... I trust them? I guess? I don't like the fact that I'm trusting them, but I guess that's what we're doing. Uh, now I have to remember where the key place was. It was the other part from where... That one scientist was, right? You didn't battle me. This place? 
Yeah. Yeah, here. This should take us to where the key is. I should heal up my team. That's one thing I should definitely do. I want to make sure that we can use our Vault Tackle on Pikachu, because it's a good move. Um, for that, though, we need healing items, and I'm not sure if I have many. I have 29 Super Potions. What am I on about? Ignore me. I just don't remember how many I bought. Apparently, I bought way more than I needed. But, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing. I think I just saw Polyref like trying to zoom off to the sky, you know, just punching, punching his way through to the heavens. You know, I'm kind of okay with that. And we can heal up Pikachu. And with this, we should be fine. I do actually have a magnet. I could give a magnet to the Pikachu. You know? Eviolite's good and all. But if I could just one-shot something, I feel like that'd be much better. Because Pikachu's defenses are so bad anyway. Let's go with that as a plan. Sure. Picard. Um, did I speak to you? These Kim Rocket Prunts are terribly cruel to them. Pokemon are just tools to be used. Nice and ordinary message. Um, I'm gonna hug the left wall. I can't not battle this dude. Okay. Alright. Boss battles. This is your last step, kid. I can't tell if that's meant as in this is the last step before I fight the final boss and finally leave Silphco, or if it means this is the last step as in he's gonna beat me. I'm hoping the first one. <laughs> I'm really hoping. Ooh, Gyarados, you're gonna get popped. I have my super effective grass type move. It still bothers me a little bit. It really does. You have these things like imprinted into your brain after a while, but my grass type move is gonna be neutral against a Gyarados. That's just how my mind works. And trying to force it not to accept that, it's a weird, weird thing that goes on inside my head. It's a strange battle. But level 42, I need to move. Nope. Tauros? That sounds like something I can train punch. I'm okay with that. I'm a little sad not seeing anything that I can use wild card against, because, you know, I, I was really excited to get this great Eevee with all these different types. I finally get, like, what I want. You know, I get a nice, designed Eeveelution that's a new typing and everything, and I just never get an opportunity to use it where it's super effective. It is a shame. Maybe it's my own fault. Maybe I should just be bringing it into more neutral matchups. It just feels... Underwhelming compared to my other Pokemon, I guess. Maybe I should just go with Espeon. Espeon's good. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I'll probably keep up the other stuff just because it's a new Pokemon, but still. Hitmon Lee, this on the other hand, is a good opportunity to go into it. Okay. Alright. Fair enough. I just had to talk it into existence. You know, it's just one of those things. Sometimes you just gotta talk it into existence. Uh, I can try to claw. Hit on the physical side. This is good. That's good damage. There we go. That's what I needed to see. Okay, all right. Now I can just to entirely prove my, the point I was making wrong. Okay, we come in and one-shot something with it. I was wrong, I guess. Okay, okay. 11th floor. Item. What is this? Found the plate device. Ah. Whoa, it's really heavy. Hi, Sabrina. Oh, I'm hidden. Look, look at that. High level <laughs> hiding skills. Huh? It's that lady, Sabrina. She was the one who attacked the research lab back in Pallet Town. Why is she here? Is she looking for this device? Hmm. The indentations on the device resemble gym badges. Are these where they're supposed to fit into? Uh. There are seven slots and I have six badges. I need one more to fill all seven slots. Seven? I'd have assumed they'd have just kept it with eight, because Giovanni's badge should fit the whole Team Rocket theme, but okay. Who's that? It's me! Well, the best defense is a Good Pikachu. Is it good Pikachu? Is it? Is that the best defense? I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's the best defense at all. I think he's wrong. Pikachu, what's wrong? Aw, how cute. It knows that I'm not the real enemy. Oh, blue. Oh, ho you found the device. Something wrong, Carlos? Oh, come on. Surely you knew that I'm a master of disguise. Blue. Oh, you finally figured it out. Hey, Carlos, take a gander at this. It's the Marsh badge I copped off that psychic chick, Sabrina, earlier. So I don't have to battle her. Nice. Give me that, Blue. Give it to you? Free? Oh, please, Carlos. You know me better than that. However, I will agree to it on a trade. You want my Pikachu? Take it. The Marsh badge for your Moonstone. Okay. What Moonstone? Don't play coy, Carlos. 
I've got to have that stone in case I ever meet up with that chick again. For your Jigglypuff? Come on, Blue. We don't have to haggle like this. If we combine our forces, we can fight together. Where's up, Carlos? We came here with different agendas, but this trade helps both our causes. Just trust me and do as I say. Okay. I mean, I'm completely fine with it. I'm not going to use the Moonstone. Sure. Although I know it's meant to, like, make my Pokemon incredibly strong or something, but I haven't really felt that effect. There we go, the trade's complete. In all fairness, Carlos, I should tell you something about that device. That device is their secret weapon. When all seven badges are inserted into the seven slots, it'll generate energy that amplifies a Pokemon's power big time. That's it, thanks, Blue. Actually, what it really does is create a brand new Pokemon. The only reason why I'm here in the first place is to get my hands on it. All the more reason to kill you, is if I need any more reasons. Hi, Sabrina. I don't think we need to battle, though. Little brats. You've made a fool of me long enough. The real one? Nah, it's another fake. This time it's green, just dressed up in drag. <laughs> and over that device now. Blue, this is dangerous. Stand back. No, no, Blue already won. She already won once. We can let her fight. You want the device, huh? I'll give it to you. All seven badges inserted. Here we go. This is just... I can marry Here we go. Going on. Hands that device over to me. Blue took the plate twice. I don't like this. We shouldn't give that to her. She's not trustworthy. Sorry, Carlos. But remember the boulder badge and cascade badge I returned to you back in Saldon C? Those were fakes. <sighs> of course they were. Of course. Come on. You don't think I would return the real ones back to you, right? Like I said, Carlos, you know me better than that. I'll leave the rest to you. Did you give me the real ones now? It, that's an angry face. He's lost his eyeballs. Oh no. I don't like that at all. They're fighting amongst each other. What amateurs? Articuno's after some Moltres. Come forth. Don't make me fight all three. No, we don't need this. End of Hero vs. Villain chapter. Chapter 25. Zap Molkuno. This is not the first time I've seen one of these. Uh... I'm hidden. <laughs> Do I have to fight? Oh no. Oh no. Uh, I guess I'm leading. <sighs> they're gonna lead with Zapdos, right? For sure, they're gonna lead with Zapdos. Well, I mean, they'll have all three. Wild card. You're the best defense against all three, I guess. So sure, you're going front. This one is dangerous, I have to beat it quick. Am I beating them all individually, one by one? Okay, alright, that's not what I expected. I thought I was gonna, you know, battle Sabrina and she was gonna fuse all three, but... Honestly, this is fine. I guess? Um... That's not fine. That's a lot of damage. Um, maybe not. Maybe not. How about we don't pluck for, like, two-thirds of my health? That's a bit of damage. I'm gonna go into Pikachu. Pikachu's got this, okay? Pikachu versus Zapdos, which is the stronger, do you think? If you had to take a guess, which would you think would come out on top? Because, I mean, I... I don't know. I don't know. Some part of me, just a, just a small part, tells me that Zapdos might be a little stronger. Detecting my fake-out damage. I kind of got played. I mean, I still get my speed boost, which was the main reason I was doing it. Uh... Tried to double detect and lets me get a Volt Tackle off for free. See, now that, that wasn't quite as smart. That honestly did way more damage than I expected it to. That makes me confident that we can one-shot Moltres with Volt Tackle. And that makes me very happy inside. Because we can just go straight into the Moltres battle immediately after this. I can just put Pikachu in front, we can fake out, we can Volt Tackle, and it should go down on one hit. It really should. Judging by that damage, I really think so. What, you defeated Zapdos? Yeah. I already beat it once. I don't know why I have to do this again. Surely they should be fainted, right? Is that not how this works? I defeated you once already, I can do it again. See, I, I, so many times in this entire playthrough have I said something for Red to repeat it like seconds after. It's really weird. <laughs> Alright, fake out damage. Sure. They'll protect this time. And I think Volt Tackle is actually just going to one-shot. I really do. Is this... Is this the power of the magnet? Oh my god. <laughs> no. 
You know, sometimes you just gotta trust in the magnet. I don't know if we'll one-shot an Articuno, because Articuno is a bit more bulky, but I really want to try. Yep, Moltres has been defeated. I really want to try. I am going to Super Potion up real quick. I have to try, right? We've got to try. I'm going to be so annoyed if it does one-shot. I'm going to actually be annoyed. I will not be happy with the Pikachu. I'll be sad for the Articuno. I won't like this. But we're going to give it a go. Uh, I don't care about being full health, to be honest. I think as long as we get a Volt Tackle off, we're fine. Articuno, if you hadn't lured Team Rocket away from me back on the Seafoam Islands, you probably wouldn't be here right now. That's true. That's very true. I did actually forget about that whole thing. But yeah, that is very true. Articuno did kind of save us. So I feel kind of bad for, for disrespecting this Articuno by slapping it around with the Pikachu. That does make me sad inside. But at the same time, Volt Tackle, how much damage do you do? <laughs> like, I feel sad, but not sad enough not to click the button, you know? Is this going to be enough? Magnet OP. Magnet OP. Magnet, very strong. Very good item, okay? Light Bulb, overrated. It's all about Magnet Pikachu, okay? It's... High quality, high damage. Okay, don't don't question it. Um, I guess I'm just gonna super potion up again, and I guess we're just gonna keep Pikachu in front. Oh, what you defeat all three legendary birds? Yes, I did. Okay then, I'll just get rid of these fakes and insert the real Cascade badge and Boulder badge, and now all seven badges are together. It's working, at last. The new Pokemon is... That looks like a Manaphy egg to me. I feel like a Fiona's just gonna pop out of it. What the? <laughs> Alas, it's finally here. But they... How did... Oh no. Oh no. Destroy him, all three, try attack! Three legendary birds will show you what Team Rocket is capable of doing. Oh, 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 oh we're, we're just falling out of the building head first. Okay, wait, this is the end. Hi. Looks like we're not falling. Okay, we're just on... This looks like some kind of, like, cargo container or something on top of. I'm very confused. This doesn't fit the design of the Silco building, in my opinion, but sure. This is Team Rocket's greatest scientific achievement. The simultaneous strike with the power of three Pokémon at once. We have experimented on several Pokémon towards that same end. Your Eevee, for instance, was a result of our experiment. You monsters. It's the fate of all lab creatures. I bet they had so many Bidoof. There's just so many Bidoof to experiment on. Where's my new Pokemon? That's one reaction, I guess. That Molkuno's powers. Oh, how I've wanted this power. Volcano, Boulder, Marsh, Thunder, Rainbow Cascade, and the Soul Badge. The powers of all gym leaders. Okay, we've known for a long time that we needed all badges to combine Pokemon's power- Stop saying all, please. <laughs> but taking badges from experienced gym leaders was no easy task. We tried using force several times, but to no avail. Until one day, we decided to wait. We waited for you and your friends to collect them for us. You see, we could have easily destroyed you guys, but you still had a job to do for us. Well, I'm pretty sure if you can beat me and us, you can beat the gym leaders, because we beat them, you know? It's kind of shame- yeah, whatever. Let me thank you for your contribution. Your death will be a swift one. Oh, well, okay. That's appreciated. First, we'll take over your beloved Pallet Town. Of all places, you choose Pallet Town? Go for it. <laughs> we will then use its unspoiled land and its people with their strange empathy for Pokemon. At last, the place will finally serve a useful purpose. Ah, forget it. Pallet Town belongs to its people. We're not going to let you mess it up. You said it, Carl. Oh, hi. Hi, when did you get here? Have you just been watching? Green, Green, you can at least, like, help the fainted Blue. <laughs> can you help Blue up? <laughs> I've rescued my grandpa and the others. All that's left is to defeat this twit. Harsh words right there. Powerful words with some meaning behind them. Grr. Twit. What impotence. Zap Malkuno, attack! Can I- can I fight it? I want to fight it like in Pokemon Infinite Fusion, okay? I want to fight it. You're a charming couple of boys, but I'm sure both of you would have been very handsome men. Okay. Possibly even more charismatic than Giovanni. Perhaps. Guess we'll never know. 
that Molkuno? Kill them. Maybe, maybe just, just blue. You know, she's faded. Well, well, you know, that way I can get the badges back. Um, no one can survive that blast. Huh? What? We got some attacks of our own. Can I bring out my Venusaur? Can I bring out my Venusaur? Please let me bring out my Venusaur. I know it wouldn't be the best in this situation, but just to fit the trio, okay? Please let me bring out my Venusaur. Don't bring out the Pikachu. Let's take her down together, Carlos. What? What? Brock? Hi? Onyx and I were your opponents once, Carlos. Now it's time for us to fight together as allies. What? This is what you've done to Gyarados. Misty? Hi! This is Brock. I've got the West Sector covered. Misty here has blocked off the East Sector. And Eric is there on the South. Okay. Alright, good job. The South Sector has been secured too by the townsfolk of Seldon Sea. You Rocket, you are surrounded. Boston Green should have penetrated the Sylph Company Central Headquarters by now. Our unknowing allies. We've kept this plan hidden even from them to make sure the Team Rocket wouldn't discover it. Good luck, boys. And Blue. Uh, I really want to send out Venusaur first. But, let's just run in. I'm gonna fight them with me, okay? I'm the Pokemon. I'm just gonna <laughs> brawl them. Don't worry, I don't need to send a Pokemon out in front of me. I'm just gonna brawl. Oh, can I not? What are you waiting for? We need to defeat this twit. Don't be afraid of birds. Don't be scared of birds. I, I will happily take out a bird right now, okay? I will happily take out a bird right now. The situation is happening. Sure, sure. Kneel before the power of all three legendary birds. No. Come out, Venusaur. Yes. Yes, that's all I wanted to see. That makes me very happy, okay? Even if I don't send it out first in battle, I'm just happy that that was what it looked like. Although I do have to fight it by myself by the looks of it. But you know, I'm kind of okay with it, because I really want to see how much a Volt Tackle does. That's a lot of HP, isn't it? They, they're probably doing the thing in Infant Fusion that they did, where it just has base 255 HP. Blizzard. It also outspeeds me. Um, how fast? Oh. Venusaur? Are you like a key here? I know you're weak to Blizzard. I get that. I really want to go to sleep. I really do. If we live... Is this a scripted loss? I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to assume it's a scripted loss when I've sent out two Pokemon that are very frail, I guess? But it could be. It could be. Um... What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and set up a Calm Mind. What are you doing? What is that? What's that? Why are you glowing? Why are you glowing? Are you using Sky Attack? Oh no. Don't use Sky Attack. Don't do that. There's no need for that. You don't have to use that move, you know? I thought it was going to go for, like, a Thunderbolt. I guess I'm going to Flamethrower and see how much it does. Yeah, this is going to hurt. That's a shame. That's a really annoying crit to get, actually. That's a really, really bad time to get crit. Ah. Uh, guess it wasn't worth setting that up. Um, I guess we're going for Ancient Power? Thunder. Not missing any of these moves with low accuracy, are you? You're not missing them. That is a shame. If you could miss... One of these really low accuracy moves, that that would be cool. That'd be appreciated. Unless this is genuinely a scripted loss, which... Judging by that HP and the fact that it's one-shot every one of my Pokemon, it's possible? I guess I'm just going for Shadow Claw. Are we going to survive a neutral Fire Blast? I'm going to go if this is a scripted loss. Uh... If it isn't, yikes. Yikes if it isn't. Um, gonna go for the freeze. Missed. Freeze. 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 That's a shame. <laughs> that ice punch did so little damage. I'm cool with just, you know, letting my Pokemon faint and go back, going back into this again with a different strategy. Um, I wish I had Leap Seed right now. Abby's will when you lost against Team Rocket Sabrina. But is it scripted, or do I just suck?
I think I just suck. Why did I... I've overworked my Pokemon, I should be more careful. Not scripted? Not a scripted loss? They're just that powerful? Oh, okay. That's really annoying, because <laughs> my team does not do well against something of that much type. Uh, uh, what's the plan? Uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. New plan. Pikachu is in front, Pikachu has Thunder Wave. We lead with Pikachu, we fake out, we desperately try and get a Thunder Wave off. Finally a Thunder Wave. Okay, okay, now we actually have a chance. Right, after like nine attempts, I finally get a Thunder Wave off. Oh, this fight is so awfully done. Every time I've set up with Ninetales, I've just been crit on the second hit. It crits so often. There's a Fully Paralyzed. Pikachu, go. Go, my sweet child. Bring us victory with your Volt Tackles, okay? Bring us sweet, sweet victory. It's such good damage, honestly. It's so good damage. Blizzard misses again. Pikachu, are you gonna solo this thing after all this time? Pikachu, please. Please don't solo it. Please don't make everyone's efforts completely pointless. Oh my god. If this misses its next attack... Okay, okay. I thought all of the bad luck just completely got reset right there. It's not missed a move in nine attempts. <laughs> this has been horrible. But right now, I know we should be fine. Ninetales can live a thunder. If it goes for sky attack, we can't live, sure. But if it goes for sky attack, we get an extra turn of attacking and an extra turn for it to paralyze itself. I think we just click flamethrower and we're good. This was not a crazy difficult fight. It's just that it outsped me every single time, even with my speed boost on Pikachu, so I couldn't get the Thunder Wave off, and it wouldn't miss a move. But here we are. We finally get the miss. It was not that hard of a fight. It was just very, very annoying. Giovanni. Are they all free? They're free! Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. And Sabrina's just KO'd on the floor. I'll be taking my leave. Ta-ta. Fly off on the Jigglypuff. Oh, Let's go, Carlos. Let's go, Venusaur. Huh? Come on, Carlos. We're just gonna leave her? We're just gonna leave her. What? 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 Soul Net activated. I swear I just saw an Eevee. Glad everyone is safe and sound. They want to slip through us, however, the leader of Team Rocket and the three gym leaders who are supporting Team Rocket are nowhere to be found. But we've rescued all the Pokémon they were using. With the proper training, love, and care, they'll all grow into wonderful Pokémon. And where's Blue? <gasps> you're, you're able to get to that item? Teach me how. Never in a million years would I have thought Team Rocket's new Pokémon was a monstrous bird like that. Sheesh. So much for my big plans. He's definitely going to be a villain in this at some point, I can tell. Ha! Why is he here? Alas, I look forward to facing you at the Indigo Plateau. Oh, we've got a bit before that, we still don't have our fetch. Look at you, you all grown up. I mean, wishes you the best, son. Thanks. Huh? What was that? Earthquake? Something just exploded in this Cerulean Sea. How do you know this? <laughs> I I guess you could tell where an explosion sound came from, sure. Whatever it was, it was responsible for this mini earthquake. I need to make sure the people of Cerulean City are safe. Is it where that one dude drowned at the monster of the lake? See you later, Carlos. Maybe. Maybe. What kind of explosion could create such a tremor that could be felt all the way from Cerulean City? Alright, good luck, Carlos. We'll take our leave. They just glide off into the distance like they're moonwalking away. End of Zap Molkuno chapter. And with that, that is where we are wrapping up this episode. In between episodes, I'm probably going to bring everyone up to level 45, as that last fight did feel a little bit taxing. Um, I felt a little underleveled. Felt like we could have been a little bit faster in a couple of situations and stuff like that. Uh, but with that, we are finally done with the Silph Code building. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, bye!